Welcome back to another video. As you can tell, I'm in a hotel room in Miami. I mean, you can't see that I'm in Miami, but I am in Miami and I thought I'm gonna shoot a video right now. Today's topic is um, alcohol, how alcohol interferes with your um, performance at the gym, how it affects your body, and what's so bad about it. The reason I wanna shoot this video is because we went to Jamaica to celebrate Amanda's birthday and of course everybody you know had some drinks and then one night we talked about alcohol and how bad it is for your body and how it affects your body composition. There are so many facts about alcohol but I really want to focus on the ones that um, are really close to fitness when it comes to you know performance and uh, if you want to lose body weight or if you want to gain muscle mass like so basically everything around fitness number one dehydration alcohol dehydrates you which means um, it forces your kidney to produce more urine and you get rid of all of your water and that leads to dehydration on top of that um, you don't usually drink enough water when you go out, right? You have like the drink of your choice and you just keep drinking that over and over and over and over again. So we consume a lot of alcohol and no water. So you, our body wants to get rid of that immediately because we don't know how to process that and we cannot store alcohol in our bodies. So the immediate reaction of our body is get rid of it. So after that, when you're hungover, a lot of people swear on, you know, you should just do some, uh, some cardio to sweat it out. Here's the problem with that. If you do not drink enough water, um, you can dehydrate yourself even more. Because if you start working out, you sweat, you get rid of even more water, and yeah, well, the end result, dehydration. Besides many other reasons, why is dehydration so bad when you work out? Because you need water in your system to keep the blood flow going, um, to just do the entire exercise, do the movements, and be um, energetic enough to just you know don't hurt yourself on top of that hydration helps with adjusting your body temperature throughout workouts like even when I'm just sitting right here when I'm starts when I started sweating it's gonna help me cool down but especially when you work out you want to be hydrated to sweat cool down your body keep the temperature low alcohol will force your body to stop burning fat did you hear that it will force your body to stop burning fat. So if your goal is to lose weight, why would you drink alcohol? Here are some things you need to know. I explained it in another video where um, I talked about protein, carbs, and fats, um, how many calories one gram of protein, carbs, and fats has. One gram of protein has four calories. Same with carbs. Fat has nine calories per gram. And now guess what? Alcohol has seven calories per gram. This is an empty calorie. Like I mentioned earlier, you cannot store alcohol in your body. Therefore, your body wants to expel that alcohol as soon as possible. When you drink alcohol, your body's main objective is to get rid of alcohol, which subsequently leads to slowing down other processes in your body, like burning fat or building muscle. Yep, if you want to gain muscle mass or if you want to lose body fat, do not drink alcohol. That's that's just sim it's simple as that. If you want to lose weight or gain muscle mass, don't drink alcohol because you ruin your entire work. If you're super clean with your diet, if you work your ass off every single day at the gym, you make it, you do everything right, and then you go out and drink for the next three days, you can poison your muscle fibers with alcohol, and those muscle fibers won't adapt as they would normally do. Alcohol will also affect your sleep, which means you probably feel like, oh yeah, when I'm drunk, I sleep better. Actually, you don't, because your body is still working on getting rid of that alcohol, so you cannot focus on building muscle mass or reducing body fat. Uh, instead, all your body does, all you know, the, the five, six, seven, eight hours that you sleep, is just trying to get rid of the poison in your body. Let's just call this topic the hungry drunk. Everybody has been there when you're drunk, when you go out, what happens? You celebrate the entire night and you feel happy. You have a lot of calories in some drinks, but for you mentally, it's not, you know, you, you haven't eaten anything. All you had is five or six drinks each, like 200, 300 calories because it's like whatever, Coke in there or like some sugary drinks. So you end up consuming 1500 calories just by drinking alcohol. After that, you leave the club, what happens? Let's just Postmate something. But what kind of food do you order? You don't order a salad or like avocado toast or whatever it is, right? No, you order fries, you order burger, pizza, pasta, like whatever is around, you want that. You want that milkshake, whatever it is, 
just in your face. So now you have between 1,000 and 1,500 calories just by drinking empty calories, and now you add another 1,500 calories by eating um, some burgers and fries and a Coke and like whatever it is you want, pizza, pasta, I don't know what your go-to meal is when you're drunk. By the end of the night, within a couple hours, four to five hours, you consume 3,000 calories. Sounds bad, right? Yeah, it gets worse. Like I mentioned earlier, we cannot store alcohol in our bodies. So your body's main purpose, main goal is get rid of that alcohol. So all the glucose that you have in your body right now from the food and from like all the sugar earlier is just in your bloodstream, but, but your body won't burn it. Why? Because priority number one is get rid of alcohol. So you have all that alcohol in your system and you have to get rid of that. And guess what happens with all the glucose and like everything else that you just consumed? Yes, body fat. Your body stores it. <sighs> Let's, it, it, it can't get any worse, right? Wrong. So, empty calories, just the drinks, 1500 calories. Fast food, 1500 calories. Let's, let's just go hardcore, 1500. And then we, we cannot burn those carbs and fats because we all, we, we have to burn the, the alcohol first. So this stored as fat. And then the next part, the last part, we cannot properly digest the food because the alcohol interferes with our digestive system. Alcohol impairs your digestion, which means you had you, you consumed so much food and you cannot take any nutrients out of it, which greatly affects the metabolism of some organs in your body. This on the other hand will slow down your fat burning ability. I don't know, I mean, I could go on and on and on, but I, I think those are the most important things you need to know about what alcohol actually does to your system before you go out the next time and like decide to drink. Okay, but hear me out, I'm not preaching that you should never ever drink in your life. Not saying that. I just wanna make uh, you aware of like what it actually does to your body so you can choose and be like, you know what? It's my girlfriend's birthday. I want to celebrate. It's whatever. I got this. I achieved this. It's whatever. It's a wedding. Whatever it is, go for it. Go for it. But make that conscious decision where you know this is what happens to my body so I have to take care of my body afterwards. Consume a lot of water. Get some um, Pedialyte. Get, get a lot of minerals. Get a lot of electrolytes in my system after a, after a night out. Try not to eat those 17 burgers and fries and a Coke <laughs> before you go to sleep. All those things matter. It was just a short little video because it, it, it actually happened and we talked about it and I was like, you know what? I want to share this because most people don't know that or they're like, yeah, it can't be that bad or they just see one negative thing within that whole, you know, circle where it's like, yeah, it has a lot of calories, but that's not all. Well, I hope this video helped you out a little bit and next time you go out, you know exactly what you're doing to your body and then, like I said, you decide for yourself, is it worth it or not? All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you're new to the channel, hello. Uh, please hit the subscribe button, the notification button, and I'll see you next time.